Okay, for this fly, we're going to tie a mayfly cripple. And uh, I like to tie this a little bit larger for when there's a larger mayfly hatch, larger bugs, larger insects. And uh, somewhat modeled after, after a quiggly cripple. So here we go, mayfly cripple. This is a size 14, 2X long dry fly hook. I'm using black thread. And I'm going to get my thread to the back of the hook. So I get my thread back there. I'm going to snip my thread. And I'm going to cut a small pinch of, not a very large pinch, but just a small pinch of elk hair. And put that in the hair stacker and tie it in. I don't like to use a lot of elk hair on the back because this is just representing the tail portion of the mayfly. And there's not a lot of, fiber, not a lot of fibers that need, needed to, to imitate the mayfly tail. So here we go. I'm going to set that in there. And... First wrap will be all the way around, loose until I get all the way around it, then I can wrap tight. Just like that. Okay, there we go. Okay, now that I've got that on there, going to clean that elk hair up a little bit and we will wrap and tie in one strand of flashaboo here just a little little strand of it it's going to add a little bit of flash to this fly nothing nothing fancy but just I think it just adds a little sparkle gives it a little nicer look okay now I'm going to I'm going to put that in the keeper so that's out of the way. Next thing I'm going to do is tie in some dubbing, just using some tan dubbing here, and I'll tie that in, wrap that up towards the front of the fly. Again, when you're putting on your dubbing, you want to wrap in the same direction. Always always twist in the same direction. That fastens that dubbing a little bit better to the thread. Gotta get it closer to the back. There we go. Okay, now that I've got that dubbing tied in, I'm going to take my flashaboo and I'm going to wrap it forward, but I'm going to wrap the opposite in the opposite direction that I wrapped my marabou. Just helps hold it, fasten it. So I need to wrap this direction. This stuff is fairly brittle, so I don't like to pull super hard, otherwise it will break. Again, its main purpose is just to add a little bit of flash and hold that dubbing in place a little bit so that uh, so that it doesn't come loose and fray as quickly as... Oh, and I lost my, my wrap there. I have to start over. There we go. Okay. Now the next step is I'm going to tie in some more elk hair, a little bit larger this time, a little bit larger clump, and uh, that will act as the wings of this fly. I 
Gonna use the hair stacker. Okay, that looks good. And I'm going to tie this so the elk hair is facing forward, which is a little bit different than what you normally see on a fly. And when I do that, my wraps are going to be nice and tight, working back. Uh, try to go pretty tight because, again, elk hair has a tendency to like to wrap around the shank if you don't get it fastened on there nice and tight. Okay. All right, the next step is going to be to tie in a piece of hackle. So I'm going to use grizzly hackle. I'm going to tie that grizzly hackle in right where I tied in the elk hair. Get it nice and tight. And then just to cover that up a little bit and to help the hackle lay in to the area better, I'll put in just a touch of dubbing. Same color. Alright, now I'm going to wrap that hackle right there where I put the dubbing. Once I've got my hackle wrapped, bring it forward, try to get everything else out of the way, and tie that hackle off. So notice there's no hackle that is wrapped in front of the elk hair. Last thing is I'm going to put a little bit more dubbing up here on the front. Now some people prefer to use a different color up here on the front. I'm, I'm going to use the same color in this case. But it's okay to use a different color if you want to for the front. Uh, I prefer to use the same. After I've put my dubbing up on the front of the fly, and I'm going to whip finish. And snip the thread. Okay, there we go. The, uh, this is a little mayfly cripple. Really a great fly. And uh, stays together really nicely.